So for the past few weeks, we have been covering artists that were not as relevant today and were from a while ago. Not necessarily that they're not important artists, but they were not as recent as some of the art that's being created today. So recently I actually recreated some of the art that I found on this artist page on Instagram. His name is Colin Schwab, and these are some of the examples of the art that he makes. One of his main techniques is that he'll take paint buckets and swirl them around on a canvas in order to create a circular pattern. or He'll take paint and drip it over a canvas using different techniques that he's found. So I actually recreated one of his pieces of art on a big scale, which you can see videos of my process here, and then um, after I did all of those steps, this is the final product I created. And so today I thought that we would go over a way to create his sort of art on a smaller scale. So for this, all that you're gonna need is some acrylic paint, or really any kind of paint, some water, string, small cups ideally. You can use bigger cups if you have that, but I'm using these really, really small cups. <laughs> some scissors, and then I'm gonna be using some popsicle sticks to mix a little bit, but you can really use anything. You can use straws, you can use the back of a paintbrush, you can use a paintbrush, uh, back of a pencil, really anything that works to mix something. So in order to create this, I used in my bigger one, um, house paint, which is basically a really thin paint that you can put on your walls, which I don't think we should use for this, because <laughs> we're gonna be doing this on a lot smaller of a scale than I was there. So for this, I'm just using acrylic paint, except I'm gonna water it down. So the way I'm gonna do that is just, and if you can see here, I've actually got a second camera today. It's just a phone. I'm gonna pour some of this paint in here, and then it's already a bit runny, but you're gonna wanna put some water in there, and then I, you can swirl it around, but I'm actually gonna use one of the popsicle sticks to mix that around. And so you should be creating, oh, see I already spilled some. So I, I forgot to mention this, you should probably put a cardboard box or something around where you're working. So you're gonna want something that's near the consistency of water. So then after you've created that, I'm just gonna set this to the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to poke a hole with a push pin. If you're younger, you're probably gonna wanna get an adult's help for this part because this part, you can poke yourself and cut yourself and bleed. You don't want that. But put a hole in the bottom of the cup like this and make sure that it's big enough to pour paint out of. And if you don't have a push pin to make a hole out of, you can just use a pencil, or you can use anything that has a sharp end. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna take the popsicle stick I was using from before. I'm going to poke holes onto the sides of the cup. So one on each side. So now that I've poked my two holes, I'm gonna take some of the string. You're gonna want a good amount of this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this string through those holes that I made at the top. You'll probably want an adult's help for this whole project. And then I'm gonna poke the string all the way through until I can meet up the two ends together. So then at the end of the string, you're gonna wanna tie it together. This is actually the cup that we're going to use to pour the paint. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover up the hole on the bottom with my finger, and I'm gonna pour all of the paint into this cup and hopefully not spill anything. Keep in mind, this is a messy project, so make sure that you have some sort of protection of the surfaces you're gonna be working on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the um, cup up in the center, and I'm just gonna let it go in a circle, just like this, and then I'm just gonna release. And see, it's coming closer to the center. And then I'm done. So I'm gonna put the cup over to the side. And see, while it's not a perfect line, it created an interesting pattern with all of the circles and dots. Then I'm gonna take the original paint cup and just pour the rest of the paint back in because I'm gonna try and reuse this paint cup. <laughs> so you can be done at this point. You don't have to use multiple colors, but I'm going to. So I think next I'm going to do a bigger hole like this. That's the kind of stuff you'll create if you use a bigger hole. So lastly, I'm gonna do a purple layer, which I think I'm just gonna do on the edges. Your hands are gonna be messy after this. This is a very messy project. I'm gonna pour all the paint in there, spin it around. And there's the purple. Now I'm gonna take all of these cups and I just threw them away. So then what I'm gonna do is this needs to dry. So you can either leave it in the box that it's in 
Or what I did was I actually placed some paper underneath. So I'm gonna move the box out of the way and just leave it on top of the paper. This will take a while to dry because it's such watery paint, it's very runny, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. That's the final piece that I made. While you probably won't be able to see it dry, I may show you next week because this probably will take a little bit of time to dry. So just be patient with it, let it do its thing, and I will see you next week with something new that we can do and I'll show you this.